So welcome to the Tigerium Hanger and to the third of the Plus series that we're reviewing on this channel. And this is Prowl. Now I gotta say that the Prowl mold is my favorite mold I of all the Carbots. I love this mold. I just love the way it looks and I think it works very well. So this is an official Takara Tomy Prowl. And so with a super tuned look, like the biggest changes that you notice are the windshield. I think that is, is the real big one. And then of course, putting it over here, you're gonna notice that on the other one, you see police on the doors versus this one, you don't see police on the doors. And so it's giving it more of a super tuned look and that's just right in line with what they've been doing. I think it looks great in car mode. I do think that we kind of all got used to the whole um, toy aesthetic versus the tune aesthetic. But hey, I still think it looks great. And I really like things like this blue right here. Now that's like blue paint instead of transparent clear. And on the original version, that little section right there was black and, it, and the black paint matching the smoke, the really dark smoke or almost black uh, coloring of the semi, very semi-transparent windshield matched closer than this does. But then of course it gives you kind of that whole vibe of tune. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at the box. So looking at this box, I, I actually got this and I thought, man, this, this thing, is this a KO or something? Cause it looks really weird. It does say, it goes out of the way to say it's authentic Takara Tomy product as sold in Japan. Turns out this is a US release. So it has an extra box, an extra sleeve. And I come to find that out after I got it. Cause I was worried. I was thinking, what is wrong with this thing? But inside you have the actual uh, figure. And, and then this box of course is what we're used to seeing. So of course, opening this up, you're gonna see all of the standard stuff that you always see. It's got the launchers and it's got the gun and the car and instructions and all that good stuff. And there's the back. But it has to fit in that trigger. Let's go ahead and transform this guy and have a look at him. So during the transformation, uh, I can't say it's broken. It's not broken, but it fell apart on me. And I, I did wonder why there was a screw in the bottom of there. And that's because this piece here goes into, into that. And it just kind of slides right in nice and easy. It seats in there. And so the screw came out. That's really easy. I guess you could say fix. I did buy it used. So that's what happens when you buy stuff used. Someone does something to it, you don't know. It's so designed so well, it doesn't really matter though. I'm gonna use this 
This is my favorite glue to use when fixing toys. I'm gonna put a drop, a drop here, and a drop there. Screw them back in and it'll be fine. Right, so here he is in his robot mode and I performed a small fix, wasn't a big deal. Now, the thing about this getting Prowl or pretty much any character in a full body shot in a G1 animation is tough. So I'm going to compare them to the G1 animation, then I'm going to compare them to the original. So compared to the G1 animation, the first thing you're going to notice is that the, the doors look just right. Now, okay, I think in this picture it's a little more curved or whatever, stylized looking, but I think it looks good. And then the chest looks more rounded in the cartoon, but the reality is we are bringing this thing into reality. And it's an old mold, but I still like this mold the best. And then going down, you can see that the blue, it has blue headlights just like the cartoon, so that makes it look so much more tuned. And then going on down, let's go ahead and bring in a picture of the lower legs and of course, it shows this is a much more tuned representation of the legs, so I like that. And then the feet, uh, in the cartoon, the feet are way too exaggerated to be too small. Uh, there's just no way you're gonna get these feet to look that small. It's just not gonna happen. But I, I, I like the way this looks. This is, I think this is as close as you're gonna get you're not gonna get the feet nearly as small as that cartoon. I think the mold still holds up. I think this is one of the few that didn't really need any tweaks of all of these. This one is a great mold and it looks outstanding. So let's go ahead and bring in the original version. So here is the original version and the difference in this coloring here is you're gonna see with the original, we have a silver gun. The new one has a white gun. And of course they hold it the same way. You have to transform the gun. This is plugs in the back in car mode. And there it is. And there they are with all their guns in place. Now, the next accessory to put on, you can see these uh, missile launchers, they slide over. Uh, the, the new ones are gray and silver. So let's go ahead and put those on and see how it looks compared to the original. And there it is, super easy to slide on there and to put on there. Now, comparing these two, how much different do they look? Well, if you ha have the original, I think the original still looks great. And depending on, do you like this uh, writing on it the, where it says police, do you like the, uh, or it says Highway Patrol? Or do you like a cleaner look? Also, the blue, I think once you start getting a couple of these pluses, and the blue is really a big pre predominant piece on this one because of the lower legs. It makes a difference. But in the end, it's not a deal breaker, I don't think. It's, I, you don't really have to go plus if you like the more uh, cartoon aesthetic. But let's go ahead and go on down this. So aside from the accessories, the paint on the doors, then uh, over here you have the blue and the headlights. Going down, instead of a silver, shiny silver, you have a, like a, a gray, like an animated kind of gray. And then, of course, we did talk about this part here on the windshield, and we already talked about the black versus the blue and the, its actual paint. Now, what, like I said, what this does better is this looks like that, it looks similar. This looks extremely different, but still tuned somehow. I think it looks good. Now, I'm keeping both. I'm not gonna get rid of any of them, uh, but I am gonna say that this guy's a KO and it does that. This guy is the official and although some screws fell out, he is solid. And I've screwed those screws back in and put some super glue to back them up. Let's see how these guys look from the back. There they are. And let's see how both these guys look with the animation model in the middle. So as you can see, the 
Plus does fit the animation model better if that's what you're going for in your collection. And let me know which one you think you like the best. Are you on board with Plus? And let's look at the rest of the Plus options together. Okay, so here we are so far with the front row as Plus figures and the back row as the originals. And what you're going to see from looking at this that out of all of them, I say Wheeljack is the biggest tune difference. You see the most change in Wheeljack. You see the least change in this guy, even though there are, I, once you start adding them up, quite a few changes. But if you just look at them, they don't, there's not that big of a difference. And then this guy here, Prowl, not huge. Like if you're just looking at it in your collection, not huge. They would, I think they would all look good together. If you were to put this guy next to Wheeljack, and you're gonna say, that still looks good. So, just depends on your liking and whether you wanna go with it. And if you're a newer collector, you get the option of both. So, in conclusion, I, I like this guy. I think he's solid, he looks good. He's gonna be in my main display. I'm still gonna have the other one. But I wanna hear from you guys, feedback. What do you think about this guy? What do you think about the plus line? Are you dead set against it? Were you against it and now kind of warming up to it? Or is this the one you're gonna pick? You just never had one. I like to hear all those things in the comments section. Like and subscribe, of course. And Tidarium, hang around.